everyone and welcome back to another episode in our amazing pixel plant zoo and today this morning we are going to add in our new animals our new proboscis monkeys oh my goodness in they go this area is going to be pretty huge for them so we've got to add in their friends the malayan tapir and we have one female Malayan tapir right now, but we do actually need to find a male. Let's see, Malayan tapir. Oh, there's one male. I'm going to buy him. I'm going to buy him and put him in. Yes, so good. I'm glad we found a male. Good, good, good. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to, let's let's move this tree for two seconds. I want to make a nice waterfall area for them. And I think maybe we should do that in this corner. I want like a huge water waterfall area. So let's see. And they are tropical animals. So we want um, biome tropical. Let's look at what things we have. I would like a waterfall waterfall here we go okay what is this this is a humongous waterfall new a another gigantic one a really cool no i want like a small one no no that's a bit big a jungle waterfall hmm now why can't i i get this jungle waterfall okay this is a nice one this is a gentle one. This is a small one. <laughs> Let's put this one in. Let's put this in. This looks lovely and nice. Okay. Now, I don't think the hippos are going to appreciate this. So. Maybe we should just put it here. You see, maybe we should just do that. and block off this area but is that a little sad and a bit of a waste i don't know huh could we put the waterfall in like this gap here so again it's like a waste of scenery isn't it if we put it here huh what if we put it oh i think they just arrived okay i'm gonna try and just put it in this corner here for now. For now. And let's just pause two seconds. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the hippos are not going to appreciate this. So let's see what they do and don't like about it. The acacia palm. The elephant ear. Is that to do with this? Or is that to do with something else? And the fig. Oh no. Okay, so they don't like the fig. They don't like the cowberry bush, whatever that is. <laughs> the African palm. They don't like. And the. Okay, okay. So is that going to make them any better? No, they don't like these this occasion. Okay, that makes them way happy. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. Just because I want them to be top tip happy. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have some monkeys escaping here. Pretty freaking sure they can escape above here. <laughs> so we've got to get, like bring these barriers way, way up. There. Hopefully that'll keep them in. Let's see. Where are they now? I swear we had our first one added in. Maybe not. Alright, so we have a Malayan tapir. And I see a. Hang on, hang on. I swear we had the proboscis monkey. Okay, here we go. So they are really, really happy. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Let's check the. Whoops, no, no. Let's check the escape routes. So, traversable area. Oh, good. So he can't escape, actually, above this. That's really good. Okay. Let's get their terrain nicely sorted out for them, then. Because I want this to be 
a lovely, lovely water area for everyone. And it would be kind of cool to have a little river kind of going through. I think that would be really cute. And then a little water. This is really cute. Just because you can. And I think it's going to be adorable. Right. If we do that. And then we add some water in here. Whoops. We flooded the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> We're so good at this. Right. Let's see. Let's flatten this to foundation. And try again. It's probably not the cleverest thing having it right here, you know. Hmm, because it's quite difficult having the gate here. Let's see, let's pause it for a second and see if we can move this habitat gate a bit. Because I'd prefer to have it somewhere like here. And then that gives us a little more room for this to work. Let's see this down I'm going to smooth this out a bit there we go and then I'm gonna push this down because I want it to kind of come this way and I want it to like flatten here we can flatten this flatten this smooth this out and then push this down oops push this down Like, it floods the whole place. Okay. <laughs> two seconds. Two seconds. Let's try just flattening this. Okay. There we go. That's going to be way better. And then, like, push this back a bit. Smooth it out so that they can kind of get in and out of it. Boom. Tell me that that... What? <laughs> what on earth is going on? Hang on. Hang on now. This is ridiculous. Fine. Fine then. If you won't work with me, then I will just do a small little little thing that they can get into. Let's see. Let's smooth it out. No, I don't want to flood the whole place. I literally just want... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Terraforming. I hate it. Okay. Come on. Come on. No. Work with me now. It's not working with me. Okay. Okay. Smooth it all out. It's all good. Nobody panic. It's fine. And then just a small little, like, ditch. Okay. And boom. That is perfect. That is all I ever needed. Oh my goodness. Not perfect. Not all I ever needed. Literally. Like, what is going on? There we go. Better now? Like, I want to push it down a bit because I want to make sure they can get into it. There we go. Okay. Thank you goodness let's see how are they doing they are stuck they're stuck oh no they've worked it out it's all good they've worked it out they've realized they have a lot of space okay good 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 right let's get this set up for them they would like lots of short grass and no long grass and a bit of soil there we go perfect all right, and then environment-wise, they do not like the Swiss cheese. They do not like this or this or the Wimber trees. But Wimber trees are so great. What do you mean you don't like Wimber trees? Oh, they don't like the Wimbers. That's such a shame. Will it let me put a Kapok tree instead? Huh. Let's see. Do these guys like the Wimbers? No, they don't. 
let's see, we don't like that one, we can get rid of that one. The ivy, we can get rid of. What else, little buddies? They are really happy now with plants, which is really good. Disease discovered, that is not good. The flamingos, of course it's the flamingos. They are up to no good yet again. Animal died, a flamingo died, oh dear. And another flamingo died. Hopefully that wasn't from the disease. And an Indian peafowl matured. Oh dear, we have lots of Indian peafowl maturing. Tray center, wild. Hang on, let's just click and go through them all instead of, okay. So you, 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 you. Let's just leave the white ones for now. Okay, release to wild. And then let's see, you, 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 and you, and you can go into the trade center. Is that everyone? Oh my goodness. So mature peafowl, 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 and then the Malayan tapirs are fighting due to overcrowding. The greater flamingo matured. Layla. Hello, Layla. And another one. There we go. I swear they have all have repeated names. And then an aardvark matured, and he's already in the trade center. So that's all good. They're all caught up. You do not need to worry. Tropical rocks. I like you, but it's fine. <gasps> oh, and one of our giant otters is about to mature. One of our little baby otters. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's see. Let's zoom in. Marguerite. Margarita, she's growing up. Oh, okay. Hang on, Margarita. Wait, one last photo. Oh, good girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, there we go. That was one last little photo for her. Adorable. She's going to grow up to be a big, big otter. Like her father and mother who is here actually. Lily Pad is there. She's elderly now. Oh, Lily Pad. Oh, and nobody can reach the... <laughs> we really need to concentrate on what we're doing because nobody can reach this um, habitat right now. <laughs> Which is slightly scary. So let's see. Let's see. We need to decorate it. We need to give the proboscis monkeys some little bit of long grass that they wish for. And some na navigatable climbing areas. Okay. P, P, P. Let's see. Um, proboscis monkey. And let's see. Enrichment items. Climbable. All right. We have this really freaking cool animal frame. I think we're just going to do a mixture of a few of these things. That's for a sun bear. This is a gigantic thing, which you don't want to look at. Okay, I'm going to just add a few of these in all kind of differently. So that they have, you know, places to go, places to climb. Um, let's see. A little food area for them. What is this? This is like a little climbable area. This is cute. That way they can they kind of go and look at the people can watch them from above. Let's see. Is that their climbable area kind of done? No. What do you mean? Oh, there we go. Now it's clicked in. Good, good, good. All right. Give them a few, a few things to look at. All right. And then let's see. So food and water, they have a boreal feeding platforms. So let's give them one splash bang in the middle. And some climbable poles to, to be fun, have fun on. Let's see, like one here. There we go. That gives them a mixture of things to do. And then we also need for the Malayan tapia. Here we go. And we need a food and water bowl for the Malayan tapia. We'll put it right up front. Whoops, hold on two seconds right up front here there we go and 
I might move this one over here and then this one back a bit. There. All right. So then let's get the plants in here. Let's get the plants. Oh my gosh. We have an Okepi who escaped. How on earth did she escape? What? What is happening? How did we have an Okapi escaping? Where is the Okapi habitat? We haven't had an Okapi escaping in forever. Like, how on earth did she escape? Like, what? I don't even understand that. How? Where is their, where is their habitat? It's here. Let's pull this barrier up a tiny bit. It is very low. Oh, it can only be a certain level anyway. All right. Um, they've been fine forever, so we'll just leave them. And oh dear, these flamingos. The disease is spreading. This is really not good. It's very hard to maintain um, with these flamingos. Oh dear. Dehydrated. There's literally water everywhere. <gasps> Jasper died! No, Jasper! Oh, I really, really loved Jasper. And we have three baby kids. But no white tigers. Oh no, River. Okay, and a dangerous fighting from the oh boy, grown up lizards. Jeez, you guys, hang on now. There we go. Okay, Wings is on her own. Wings, let's do a pause for a second. Wings, let's pick you a new mate out. Okay, we need to find a new mate for Wings. I will do that off camera because that is the end of this episode thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time goodbye